What's good guys, welcome back to another episode of GMG News. Today we're going to speak about Lincolnshire. So Lincolnshire farms, lambs and pedigree sheep stolen and skinned. Uh, government pledges millions of pounds for poorest town after Brexit. Widows pleas over driver's phone use. Time running out for World War II bomber stories, IBCC warns. Millions invested in South Kev... Kevest even leisure facilities live updates on Monday the 4th of March 2019 so let's get into this so branching out thousands of trees planted in Lincolnshire about 9,000 trees have been given to community groups across Lincolnshire to help improve tree cover in the county the UK has one of the lowest rates of woodlands in Europe the Woodland Trust which provides the trees is funding the plant of 1 million trees this season this morning, members of a community group in Cherry, Winningham, near Lincoln, have been planting 500 trees. So in a quote, we're not just got enough trees in the UK, we've got 13% cover of trees in the UK across Europe, it's 35%. The benefit of trees are there to see. They're tackling the impact of climate change, supporting pollinators such as bees and butterflies and general good health and well-being for people. So another story. Millions invested in South Kavest even leisure facility. Millions of pounds have been invested in a leisure facility in South Kavest Kez, Kest even, should I say? Two new leisure centres are being built in Stamford and Market Deeping and Bourne Centre is being updated. Meanwhile, Grantham is to get a new swimming pool and gym in the town centre as part of a wider improvement. South Kest Even District Council say it was going to have to spend large sums over the next few years to maintain existing facilities if it didn't opt for new buildings. Bourne Leisure Centre could cost £5 million according to the council, but an exact figure for how much the entire investment will cost hasn't been revealed. In a quote, the current Leisure Centre in South Cavest even for Markets Town has received basic maintenance, but there hasn't been any major investments for decades and little, if any, outreach provision in rural communities. This is something I am determined to change, providing modern facilities for current and future generations that meet the needs of changing communities. So, £110 for Brexit Town. The government says it's given £110 worth of investment to towns in East Midlands after the UK leaves the European Union. So £1.6 billion is being invested across the country to help develop local economies and create jobs. Lincolnshire Town are among those expected to receive cash. The MP for Boston and Skegness has said that he's made a strong case for both towns in the constituency to gain investment. Critics are accusing ministers of using the money to try to bribe MPs into supporting Theresa May's Brexit plan when it comes before the Commons next week. We all know this is money that should have been spent in areas such as our own over previous years. It is belated, useful reconciliation. And lambs and pedigree sheep stolen and skinned. Three lambs and a pedigree sheep were stolen from a Lincolnshire farm and slaughtered over the weekend. Staff at Hall Farm in Messingham, North Lincolnshire, found the remains of a prize animal on their grounds at the weekend. Those killed include a endangered Lincolnshire long wool sheep. It's suspected that the animals were slaughtered to supply the illegal meat market. Police have been informed and are asking anyone with information to get in touch. Time's running out <clears throat> for the World War II bomber story. Organisers trying to preserve first-hand accounts of the World War II say time is running out. The International Bomber Command Centre Digital Archive on Cadwick Hill near Lincolnshire has spent years collecting personal histories from those who served in Bomber Command during World War II. It says it needs 20,000 to finish the job and record stories from other surviving members of the Bomber Command as well as digitalizing documents and photos and identifying memorabilia. And in a quote, time is running out every week that passes is another lost opportunity to record the stories of survivors of the biggest 
world conflict in modern day history. And obviously, the more time that passes, the more people that will obviously sadly pass away and won't be able to give their account of what happened. So widow's plea over driver's phone use. A woman whose husband was killed by a driver using a phone has spoken out about the impact the crash has had on her and her family. David Kirk, 26, was killed in a crash where Samantha Aries, who was jailed for three years, veered onto the wrong side of the road in 2016. Rest in peace to David Kirk. Kate Kirk says, no call or message is important that it should be made or answered at the wheel. The number of people convicted for using their phone while driving has dropped by two thirds since 2011 and the number of traffic officers by one third since in 10 years. And last but not least, we have the weather in Lincolnshire. A lingering rain on strong winds will quickly clear. This will leave it largely dry with sunny spells for much of the day, but there will be a risk of sharp showers later that day. So thank you for watching another episode of GNG News. I'm going to start to do the news again because I enjoy doing the news. I like reading news headlines. And um, I hope you have all enjoyed me reading the news to you. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on post notifications if you haven't done already. Let me know what you think about these stories. Um, I'm really glad that Lincolnshire are actually going to plant a load more trees because it is true we do need trees for our ecosystem and they do help obviously insects and creatures and obviously they provide us with oxygen so yeah anyways thank you for watching another episode of gmg news don't forget to subscribe turn on post notifications if you haven't done already like this video if you think it deserves a like share it with your friends if you want other people to see this leave a comment in the comment section down below if there's anything you want me to do in the next episode of gmg news and i will be sure to oblige and don't forget to turn on them post notifications and I will see you all in the next episode.